Well, you guys have been using the PitchCom device all season long. I know some of your pitchers have voiced some concern that as you got into the postseason, it may be difficult to hear, especially in hostile environments. Was there any issues last night, or do you, do you guys have a backup plan in case that becomes an issue? Uh, yeah, there were no issues last night. You know, the pitchers could hear. Um, you know, I just adjust my volume based on the crowd noise. Uh, so yeah, it, was, it worked well last night. Do you have a backup plan in case the pitcher can't hear it? Uh, yeah, we do. We have one in place. Fingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next question. Uh, Will, uh, you played a little more this year than last year, and I know the H charts were a part of that, but if we're, did that take any sort of physical toll on you, and did you do anything differently to sort of prepare for that or deal with that? Uh, no, I think, you know, last year I found a really good routine that works for me, uh, keeps me as fresh as you know, I can be. Uh, I stuck with that this year, so, you know, right now my body feels, feels good, feels strong, and, uh, you know, ready for some more baseball here in the post -game. When you get rest uh, in between, like, you know, times catching, usually some teams give a full day off, but you're de aging in a lot of those games. Do you still find uh, you get the available, like, sort of rest you need in, in, in those cases? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I think more importantly, it just keeps keeps my bat in lineup and, uh, you know, keeps my timing and, and all that in check and uh, gives me a few, a few more at bats throughout the year. Next question. Yeah, well, well, I know the Padres want to think that the lineup has changed a lot. There have been a lot of different faces and everything, but my guy that's actually trying to work through that lineup for the last couple of years, how much of a difference do you see in the lineup now versus what Padres had earlier in the season and or last year? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely some new faces, but it's you know a lot of the same guys. Um, you know, it's it's uh, you know they're they're good hitters. They're a good lineup. They come with an approach every day. Um, so, you know, you got to kind of got to figure that out on the fly, but, you know, we, we come with a good plan. Um, we attack the weaknesses with our strengths and uh, go about that way. Okay, next question. Back here in front, straight to Mike. Will, with, uh, with the success that the bullpen is having, uh, what's it been like behind the plate catching those guys, working with those guys? Uh, it's, you know, it's been awesome. You know, they've, you know, some other guys that have really developed into, you know, elite arms. Uh, and overall, you know, they they do a really good job. You know, they shut down innings, um, they get out of jams, and uh, you know, they're they're special guys. And you know, it's fun to be a part of it and catch them. Okay. Anything else, Will? One more again, right? How much did some of the younger guys pick the brains and make the Kershaws and that type of stuff? Does a lot of that go on? How much of it is just the game planning that you guys do with your analytics department? What's sort of the balance between them? I mean, yeah, they definitely, you know, talk to older guys. You know, there's always conversations going on uh, with pitching, with hitting, with, with everything. You know, that's just our clubhouse. Um, I think, you know, we have a really good system in place that, you know, kind of fine tunes and, and, and uh, develops their pitches and makes them a little better and uh, find out what plays in the game. And uh, you know that just that just promotes confidence in them, and you know we set them up for success. Okay, Paul. Yeah, I'm sorry. So also you got some great hitters in your clubhouse as well. How much interaction goes on between your pitchers and your hitters in terms of them learning from each other, what they're looking for in certain situations, or how they might work each other? Is it much of that type of back and forth as well? Yeah, there's you know there's conversations that go on. Um, you know you talk more like situational stuff and. You know how a pitcher might attack a hitter, or what the hitter's approach might be in a certain situation. Uh, so yeah, there's definitely you know communication going on, and, and just kind of picking each other's brains. Okay. Anything else? Thanks. Will.